Virginia McLaurin has seen a lot in her 106 years, but she never thought she'd see the inside of the White House. I'm in here. <laughs> <laughs> I said, thanks to Lord, I'm in here. <laughs> but it's what she did while she was there that captivated the leader of the free world and his wife, and now the entire nation. Come on. Seven on Your Side first met Virginia McLaurin early last year when we helped her tackle a bed bug infestation in her northwest Washington apartment. If you want to be lift up and be free, talk to Channel 7. <laughs> <laughs> She told us then how badly she wanted to meet the first African-American president of the United States. She didn't know how it would happen, but she wasn't going to give up hope of shaking Mr. Obama's hand. Hey! Late last week, thanks to one of the lenders working to help her tenant association restore the building she lives in, that dream came true. I walked up to her and immediately I said, thank you, Hunter I said, I'm here. I said, this is Black History Month. And I'm here to represent black history. That's exactly yeah, right. that's what I'm here for. Well, I'm holding him, but then I got his wife, too. <laughs> and you started dancing. She says she was just so happy she couldn't help herself. You have just made our day. You know that? A dream come true, a memory cemented forever for the president and his wife, and for a humble, happy 106 year old citizen. It was a happy time of my life that I got a chance to shake hands with the president.